according to one viewer, I'm now a Chuck Norris hater. After he watched my video that Chuck Norris never respected Bruce Lee, now all of a sudden I'm being labeled as a Chuck Norris hater. How so not true <laughs> that is. It is funny to me, odd, how you get these individuals that respond to videos who don't watch the video point for point from beginning to end and then they come out with these outlandish responses. I'm not affected by what he said at all because I already know what I believe and what I represent. And that is self-evident in all of the videos that I have done, period. And even outside of videos, all of the speeches and the seminars and the performances that I have gave and done, that speaks for itself and those speak for themselves as well. So I'm not a hater of Chuck Norris. I just speak the truth based on my own experience, my own knowledge, and my own interpretation based on what's present before me. So now, for this individual that made this statement, let me qualify this by saying, how can I be a hater of anyone that I am critical of concerning any particular issue in the video when I praise them in the beginning of the video virtually every single time? For example, I've made the statement before that Steven Seagal is overweight, but I praised Steven Seagal's ability and skill in Aikido as well. How could it be that I'm hating on Steven Seagal? Again, how could it be that I'm hating on Michael Jai White? In fact, I have actually said that Michael Jai White was a martial arts extraordinaire in one of my videos. And at the same time saying that I didn't like the fact that he said that he could beat Bruce Lee because of the size of Bruce Lee versus him. He made that arrogant statement. So I praised Michael Jai White and at the same time I just offered my viewpoint on a statement that he made about Bruce Lee. Does that mean I hate or I'm hating on Michael Jai White? Not at all. Now, bringing it all home with Chuck Norris, I've said many times that Chuck Norris is a very good martial artist, and I like some of his films. Sidekick was one of them. Now, if I'm hating on him, why would I praise anything that he's done? But at the same time, when I said that he was a very good martial artist, I also said that he did not respect Bruce Lee. He didn't. Chuck Norris found himself in a position where he got an opportunity to being a major motion picture with the legend of martial arts, Bruce Lee, of our time anyway, legend. And it was Bruce Lee who was the catalyst for Chuck Norris to be springboarded, if you will, into success. The success that Chuck Norris has today, he would have never seen had it not been for Bruce Lee. And he's not by himself. It's been many, many hundreds and maybe even thousands of people who have benefited from Bruce Lee's success and just having the experience or being associated with Bruce Lee. This is public knowledge. Jim Kelly, John Saxon, Anna Capri, uh, Bolo Young, he's been in movies before. His real name is Zhang Zi. He played Bolo in Enter the Dragon. Jackie Chan was a stuntman in a couple of Bruce Lee's films. Uh, Bob Wall, to include Chuck Norris. There have been many people who have benefited from Bruce Lee's success to include his one of his head students, Dan Anasanto. Everybody that was around that man benefited from him. And all of their careers were heightened by their relationship with Bruce Lee. That's a no-brainer. And that's not hating on anyone. It's just simply being truthful. If you had asked Jim Kelly, and he was less than Bruce Lee in terms of skill, even he himself said that he believed that no one on the planet at the time could have beat Bruce Lee. So are you saying that 
I'm hating on Jim Kelly now, of whom I love, Three the Hard Way, Black Belt Jones, and the Drag, and, and all of the other things that he did, Black Samurai, Tattoo Connection, and so forth. Are you saying I'm hating on Jim Kelly? When I just said I love the man, and he respected Bruce Lee. So, you really can't make a blanket statement that somebody's hating on somebody unless you're hating on the person that you're making that statement to. So, I love and respect Chuck Norris. But the truth is the truth anyhow. He still did not respect Bruce Lee. I don't care if he said after Bruce Lee has been dead many, many years, you know, that he was a superb martial artist and he was interesting and he was this and he was that. Oh no, anybody can say that once a man is gone, especially once you have received some backlash from some Bruce Lee fans and maybe even students or advocates of Bruce Lee. Anybody can say that then. But you had better believe when Bruce Lee was living Chuck Norris's main or primary goal was to try to get as much as he could from Bruce Lee in terms of boosting his own career. Now, in and of itself, there's nothing wrong with that. Benefiting. But at the same time, give credit to the man that you got the benefit from. And he didn't truly do that. And this one statement that was asked of Chuck Norris about him and Bruce Lee sparring, he said, one uh, interviewer asked him, and you can look it up. Yes, this interviewer asked Chuck Norris in an interview, did you, Bruce, did you and Bruce Lee ever mix it up and really get heated in a, a fight or a sparring? And then Chuck Norris's response was, uh, Bruce didn't want to go there and I didn't want to go there. Go where, Chuck? Chuck Norris in that statement, that was a very arrogant and very narcissistic type of response. Chuck Norris could have never stood toe-to-toe -to, -toe to Bruce Lee in any kind of sparring match, let alone in a real fight. Couldn't do it. He did not have the skill set that Bruce Lee had. He was not even on Bruce Lee's level. Nor was anyone else on any set of any movie that had ever worked with Bruce Lee. No one was on his level. That's why he is dubbed as and has been dubbed as the King of Kung Fu. The King and the legendary martial arts master Bruce Lee as we know him today. That's it, and that's all. So, I'm not disrespecting uh, Chuck Norris, not disrespecting any martial arts master or any martial arts personality. All I'm doing is being a commentator, and I call it as I see it. This is Brother Teacher. We're out.